Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a pretty large makeup haul. I have quite a lot of items kind of across the board. I have Scott Barnes, ColourPop, Jaclyn Nick Cosmetics, Natasha Denona, Bobbi Brown, Laura Mercier, just a bunch of fun different things to talk about. So if you want to see the items that I picked up, then just keep watching. All of this stuff is a mixture of like Black Friday shopping, Cyber Monday, and just items that I have managed to collect, really. Yeah, let's just get into it. Some stuff I feel like from Black Friday still has not arrived to my house. I ordered a couple indie brand makeup eyeshadows. Those haven't come because they have to be made. I thought I ordered a Jeffree Star mystery box and the order never completely went through. I like sat on the computer for 45 minutes on Thanksgiving. It went through, but it never gave me like a full confirmation. So I was just like, it's not meant to be. This is the stuff that has made it. So we're gonna start off with Natasha Denona because she had an awesome Black Friday sale on her website. So there was a buy one, get one free deal on her palette. So I picked up two palettes. Now they both are the 28 pan palettes. So these I believe are like 238 if I remember correctly. And I am so scared that these are going to be discontinued because they just aren't sold at Sephora anymore. And I just felt like I had to pick up both of them because for buy one get one free, how could I not? So this one is what the purple blue looks like. And I'm not going to touch this one because this one may be in a future giveaway when I hit 25k, so I picked that one up for you guys. And then the other one that we have is the green brown one, which looks like this, and mine is really extremely beat up, so I kind of just wanted a fresh one. So this one is for me. I love this one so much. I love the colors in the purple blue, but this one I always find myself reaching for more, so I'm so happy to have a fresh one. It was such a good deal. I couldn't pass that down. I also picked up two lipsticks from Natasha Denona. She has probably one of my favorite lipstick formulas. I love the colors in her line, more importantly. So they were, I believe, 30 or 40% off. So this first one is the shade Allison and this one is like a very light peachy kind of nude shade. And then this one right here is Judith. I just love the formulas and the colors here. This one has a little bit more brown to it, a little bit more rose to it. Really love both of those colors. And every color in this line from Natasha Denona, I absolutely love. So I've been looking to one day eventually own all of these that are in the collection. So slowly but surely building my way to that. By the time I had ordered from Natasha Denona's website, most of these were actually gone. I also got a couple questions about this. Yes, I did order from Jaclyn Cosmetics the highlight collection. I just picked three random things. A lot of things sold out when I went to order, so I kind of got what I got. So I have not yet used these, but we have the Luminous Powder in the shade Carrots. And I have to say, the packaging of this is quite nice. I don't know. I hope it's the correct shade. You're not going to be able to really see it, but it is just like kind of a sheer illuminating powder. This looks like it's a good shade for me, but we will see. Unfortunately, I can't really talk too much about her products, but I got the illuminating powder and then I picked up, I picked up one of each formula. This is the loose highlighter in the shade Balm. So this one comes in this cute, tiny little thing. And this one is supposed to be like a really blinding formula, which I'm just not all about anymore. Let me peel this off so you can see the colors. But I really trust her with this formula because she's always really liked loose highlighter formulas. So I'm excited to see this one. Ooh, that looks really pretty. It's like a little bit more golden. I think I'm really going to like that. I'm not a huge, huge fan of loose highlighters, but I definitely see why people really like them. They're just a little bit messy sometimes. So that was the loose highlighter that I picked up. And then I did pick up the highlighter palette, of course. This one I had to pick up later during the restock because they ran out when I went to order it originally, but 
I love this. It's made in Italy. The packaging is very luxurious, very heavy. And then you open it up and you just have these four beautiful highlighters. I love the way this palette looks. I have not yet used it, but I really have some high expectations for this. I can't lie. You can kind of see. So this definitely will be the next highlighter I am using. Right now I'm wearing the Scott Barnes highlighters, trying to get acquainted with that formula, but this one is definitely next on my list to try. So I picked up one of each of the formulas from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I then picked up a couple things from Laura Mercier. I've been loving the holiday stuff they're coming out with. So the sale for Black Friday from Saks, I believe was like, spend a hundred get a $25 gift card or something around those guidelines so I placed an order with my Saks dealer if you are in the DC area his name is Ferdy he is amazing he works at the Tom Ford counter but yeah he definitely hooks me up uh, every time I need to order something I will just go to him so he's awesome so if you're in the area definitely give Ferdy some love because he's awesome um, so the first thing that I got was the Laura Mercier fine art eyeshadow palette it's just this really small palette and there's not much much definition to the colors but I thought it was just a very cute idea with some very sweet colors uh, just for great washes all over the lid for the holidays because they're just so slightly sparkly let me swatch a couple for you now I haven't used this yet but as you can see very pretty subtle kind of sparkly formula from them i don't know i feel like this could go really good or it could go really bad so i will need to play around with that i just thought it was so beautiful and then i also picked up the laura mercier the full canvas eye and cheek essentials palette and this again just looks so wonderfully big for traveling this just is so cool now what i don't like about this is it's a double-sided product but i thought this mirror would be attached and you can kind of flip it but it actually is not attached it kind of just it's like a separate thing that you put in the middle so that the powders don't mix but honestly that's just asking to scratch these powders i think i've already had yeah i've already had an accident where one of the corners of the mirror caught on the powder and it scratched it so i think i might just keep this little plastic guy in here instead so that i don't compromise the shadows here but here you have a face little portion of two blushes a bronzer and a highlighter and then up here you have eyeshadows now the eyeshadows in here do look very similar to the fine art eyeshadow palette but i don't know i just really love this collection from laura mercier so i wanted to try it out i think I don't know Laura Mercier doesn't get enough love like their holiday stuff was so cute so I'm very excited to try these items out also along the way I have picked up a couple items from Bobbi Brown you guys know I have a soft spot for Bobbi Brown and the new eyeshadow palettes that they came out with I, I just really liked them so this is the smoke and meadows eyeshadow palette so this is what the packaging looks like really stunning and then you just have these really deep, cool toned colors. I think this is stunning, very everyday friendly. And if you love being more in the cool toned zone, you really are going to like this palette. I think it makes really effortless eye looks. Um, I've only swatched this, so I haven't used it yet, but just the colors in here are just so work friendly and so easy to use. So I'm very excited about this one. I also picked up the In A Flash eyeshadow palette, same packaging as the previous palette. And then again, kind of a similar color story. I don't necessarily think you need both of these, but again, more cool toned colors. This one is a little bit more smoky, if you ask me, with a little bit more texture in the colors here, a little bit more shimmeriness, if that's a word. So I am excited about these. I think Bobbi Brown did a nice job with these. I don't think that they're like the most exciting release by any means, but I think they're really pretty. And just as somebody who enjoys Bobbi Brown, I think these are nice additions to their line. I also made quite a large order off of ColourPop. I believe it was 30% off the entire site. So I took advantage of that and just purchased some things that I had been wanting to 
purchase basically so the big things that kind of led me to the site were their big vault sets that came out so call me crazy I didn't need this but I bought the big box of lippy pencils so it's 40 of their lip pencils and Colourpop has some amazing lip pencils. I constantly find myself grabbing for the ones that I do have. And every time I would order, I would try and order a couple lip pencils, but didn't know which colors to buy. So I just solved that problem and I just bought all of them. So I'll never have to buy lip liners again. And I just love the whole vault concept. You have every color you need, but I just thought it was such a good deal for all of those lip pencils. I couldn't help myself. And then also kind of same idea with their gel liners. I really like their gel liners. I've been wanting to expand the colors that I have just for d different Instagram looks and this looked like a great set. So this is the cream gel liner vault. It's not all of the ones that they have but they had a lot of bright colors that caught my eye. This out for you to see better. So that was not smart of me. But anyways, I've just been planning to buy some more of these gel liners so that I can have more colors for more looks because they are so affordable. And this was just the perfect option for me. These eyeliners are really nice for the price and they have really awesome colors in their line. I picked up a glow oil. I only have like their sparkly one, but not the glow oil. This is from the Soul line. This is the Rosé glow oil, if I can get out. And it's a mini one, so it's not too big because I never use those big ones. So I just wanted to try the Glow Oil. I like it better than the other one that's really sparkly. So it was just a few bucks, so I added it to my cart. I do like having like a glowy chest, so I was excited about that. I picked up two different colors of the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer because I had no idea which direction to go. So I got light... 7W. I've just heard really good things about this tint moisturizer, so I want to try it. And this is medium 9W. Uh, something tells me I'm going to have to mix these, but I figured while they were on sale, it would be a good idea for me to pick up two different colors. That way I can get my perfect match. And from what I can collect, this is a really nice skin product, especially for those with drier skin and I'm always down for ColourPop face product. And then I also picked up the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Concealer. I love their regular concealer. It's one of my mo most used concealers. This I got in medium 85N. Don't know why I made that choice. I don't think this is a bad color though, but I tend to think I'm more tan than I actually am. I'm actually quite fair, but I'm very excited to try these out. There's a future video coming soon trying out what products that I can so just so you know because I feel like every time I just do a regular haul I'm leaving you hanging and then last few things from Colourpop I picked up a few different eyeshadow palettes it happens every now and then where I will make an order and catch up on all of the items that I missed or didn't pick up when they came out and these ones were just so cheap with the sale so I got uh, from their monochromatic line the smoke show this isn't necessarily the kind of colors that I go for but I just thought it was such an interesting color concept and a lot of people really loved this palette so I figured I would just add it to my collection and I know that's a horrible mentality but I do collect these so and then this one is lilac you a lot and did not need this because it's just another purple palette but I love purple eyeshadow so again how could I not and some of the colors in here are extra super stunning so I'm very excited that I picked that one up and then the last monochromatic one that I picked up was the uh huh honey one and this one is like yellows and the, i i feel like this is such a unique palette brands are so afraid to go for yellows and they added some very complimentary matte shades as well so i'm really feeling this palette too it's just fun you know i don't normally wear two crazy colors as far as eyeshadows go but these are so fun and i love them and they're like eight bucks and then this i was not going to get and then I had to. It's the Big Bear Necessities palette. It's just so everything. It's everything that I don't need but love. So of course I didn't need a giant palette with this many neutral colors that I already have in my collection, but it's Colourpop. It's a big palette. Quality is great and it just has 
a great color story here that I can see myself using a lot and I know a lot of you guys loved the idea of this palette. You actually asked if I would be picking it up so you guys definitely kind of convinced me to. I was like well if you guys love it that much then I need to pick it up as well. Colourpop just comes out with so many different products. It's so hard to keep up because part of me wants to collect everything that they come out with and then the other part of me is just like no only get the things that really speak to you but I always go a little bit crazy when there are sales. And then the last things that I've recently picked up are from Scott Barnes and I did already post my first impressions video so if you want to see a deeper in-depth video on those items be sure to check it out and these palettes are actually what I'm wearing on my face today because I'm trying to really get a feel for what I think of the items so this is the sculpting and contouring palette and if you watch my video you would know I think this palette has a bit of a learning curve because the colors are quite unique so so I've been working on playing with these colors, seeing how they work with my skin tone and the ways that I think that they work best. It's a very unique sculpting palette. This is the highlighting palette. It is called Glowy and Showy. This one, the unicurtain does not want to come out of this one. And this is one of the most pretty highlighter palettes to look at. You can already tell it's going to be a super beaming highlight just by how they look in the pan and that's, you know, that's what I use to bronze my face. I use the highlight palette to highlight my face. Here's the blush palette I used. This is the Chic Cheek. I just think these palettes are so fun. I love having them. I used this blush right here today from this palette. It's the more neutral one, but you can get really fun pops of color on the cheek with these. The eyeshadow palette that I used today is the Snatural. So I created like a pretty simple, wearable, smoky eye. And what did I use? I used Retro as my transition boudoir as kind of my crease color. That's what's bringing the warmth in the look. And then I took Brazen and put it all over the eyelid to kind of create that smokiness. It's a really nice eyeshadow palette. This kind of resembles the Bare Necessities from ColourPop, like similar vibes. And then the last palette is the Color Bomb eyeshadow palette, which this is stunning. I have not used this one on my eyes yet, but you can bet that I am so excited to create looks using this palette. This is definitely the next eyeshadow palette that I will be certainly playing with. And that sums up all of the items that I recently have picked up. I am just drowning in new product. It is a dream come true, honestly. And let me know what you guys have recently picked up. What from this video you would like to see me using because I certainly have plans on just using a bunch of these new products on camera so that I don't leave you hanging and you can see more of what I think of these products. So that's all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great holiday season and you're almost done with your Christmas shopping. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.